This is from February 19th of 88. Dear Lisha, it is Friday night in Bryan, Ohio. Yuck! I went out looking at houses in the snow. This house thing is bumming me out in a major way. Oh well, I am sure it will all work out in the end. I just wish the end would get here soon. Okay, I think I'm gonna try to film for a second. <laughs> Hi, my name is Katie Butler and I am making a piece about home. <laughs> uh, I was born in a town uh, in Northwest Ohio called Bryan. Um, I lived there until I was three. So I am going to go back to Brian. Um, I'm going to find hopefully the house that I lived in. Road 13, County Road 13, number 23. This is the wooded area where the house that I lived in used to be. I'm gonna see where my parents worked. We're heading to Arrow. It does not look super open. Um, I am waiting for some letters uh, from my mom that my dad sent to her while he was house hunting. Um, yeah, I have a lot of questions and the more I dig in, the more questions I'm finding. I have found the Bryan High School Theater Department page on Facebook. Hello! Hi, Betsy, how are you? And then have the same room for you on Thursday. It'll be super fun. Yeah. I think the kids will get so much out hearing about what you're doing. I am just so thrilled to have her, so please make her feel welcome. This is my first time in Bryan in almost 30 years. Good, yes. Strong action. So, this is, I think this has been the best introduction I could have possibly had. Come back if you want. You can come Saturday morning. We'll be here working. True. I'll, we'll have John's Donuts. Oh my gosh. And, uh, I brought work boots. Carpenter. We always <laughs> love those extra settings. <laughs> <laughs> we will be here building. Yesterday I asked the students that uh, we met from Bryan High School Theater Department to write down one thing that they wanted me to know about Bryan. We have this little saying at our school called Bryan Built. Basically it means that wherever we go in life, it all connects back to Bryan. Everything that we do in business, academics, athletics, or arts represents our town. All of the cast and crew members write their names on the wall of the attic before we take down the set. This has been a tradition for decades, and everyone I took, I, and every time I look at names that I recognize and remember that I get to be associated with them, this is the best honor of all. <laughs> okay, it's Saturday morning, and we are back at the auditorium. We are going to be hello, Heather. Hello, we are. Uh, gonna be well this one's gonna be helping build some sets it sounds like and we're gonna talk to some people all right the famed John's Donuts there you go I'm interested in what it's like to have come from a larger city and and settling in a smaller town and if you had any preconceived notions about yes yeah. <laughs> that's what I was trying to express so yeah my perception was um, I was happy that it was wrong you know yeah. I remember my parents came out and they were you know a little wary because I was going to this tiny school in this tiny county nobody had ever heard of mm -hmm. and, um, they were worried I had this little junky apartment and <laughs> you know, I was fresh out of college and, uh, and I thought, okay, I'm gonna be here for a couple years to get some experience. I'm gonna go to Chicago. 
and you know, I'm just gonna be closer to the scene that I wanna be in. I can still teach, but I can also do some theater on my own time. Yeah. And yeah, met yeah. my husband two kids later, here I am, yeah. 28 years later. So. Any regrets? Any regrets? No, no, no regrets. I figured as much. No, no <laughs> regrets. Mm -mm. It's just a little gem yeah. in Northwest Ohio. Yeah. It's just, it is. It's got so much going for it. And it's changed so much over the years, certainly. Mm -hmm. We have over almost 50% of our student body is on free or reduced lunch programming. Yeah. It used to be a very considered like the country club town mm -hmm. more affluent mm -hmm. and it's it's not country yeah. club shut down um factories have moved out yeah it's not that much of a professional we have the hospital so there's professionals there but mm -hmm. it's not that kind of town necessarily anymore. Yeah. yeah knowing this place my whole life i suppose my opinion is somewhat biased but i truly believe this town is a great place to grow up if there are many cons, they are certainly outweighed by the pros. From an artistic standpoint, the arts flourish here. Nearly every student, and many adults, participate actively in some sort of fine art. You know, neither one of us ever played the sweet darling little girl. Oh God, no. I was always the old lady. Me too. <laughs> always, always the mother. And then um, Fountain City Festival. Um, I was just—I I was the producer, and then also a chorus member of in Wizard of Oz. And that was the first time I got my son involved too. Aww. And then I was producer of Music Man, and he was in that one too. So I kind of got him the bug, and he played. He's been in theater, and he's actually a senior at Miami, um, studying music education. He's gonna be, he wants to be a choral director. Oh, that's so, so. great. And I thought after my son graduated, I've been helping with the high school as an director for the last six years, and I kind of thought after he graduated, I thought, nah, I won't do it anymore. But then, you know, the kids, you know, they're like, yes. just do it till I'm a senior, and I'm like, yeah. okay, and then, you know, then you fall in love with the other kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, as you can see, these kids showing up and... They're dedicated. And <laughs> yeah. So, it's, it's wonderful. Cool. But, yeah, actually, I don't want to sound dorky, but uh, oh, no. my uh, family was um, has been in Bryan since 1863. Whoa. So my, we're one of the first families of Williams County. Wow. So my son, on both sides, my husband's family and my family, both of us have been around here, and my son has... Um, I don't know if there, there's probably others now, but he was when he was um, inducted into the first families of Williams County. He mm -hmm. had the most relatives that had been here. He had 37 relatives that were in um, Williams County oh my before like 1865 or something. So, you know. Yeah. So yeah, born and raised. <laughs> That's so cool. She's a Brian. I mean, I'm a Brian. I through I mean, and through. To just to have that kind of kinds of roots and history, you know, it's 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 really really amazing. Like Doorway, we're gonna keep that open okay. because there's two people in a chair sitting there. So th those two sections, I'm not gonna have this fall, right. but the two sides will fall, so it don't hurt any. <laughs> what you making, Josh? I don't know. <laughs> this. For one of the pieces out there. Gotcha. That's what I've, I'm finding really interesting is like making connections with the people in this town. Mm -hmm. I'm finding that like the house I lived in is not there anymore, and I don't know this town. I don't. I really don't have any connections, and so what I'm finding more valuable is the connections that are that I'm making here. Mm -hmm. It's it it feels really. Like, I'm just scratching the surface of this mm -hmm. town, and I yeah. don't think I can do it on my own. No. Um, well, you just need to move here for a year. Yeah, right? I mean, essentially. And work with us. <laughs> hey. We would love it. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm open to anything and everything, okay? Yeah. One thing I know about Brian. Very supportive of the arts. There are so many ways to be involved with the arts here. I was not originally from here, and once I came here, there were so many opportunities. This is also my first time performing on stage, and everyone has been so supportive. This is what you wanted, though, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, I don't think I've I don't think I've done set work in 
Nine months? Wow. Ten months? Something like that? Well, don't you worry. There's plenty to do on the house we just bought. <laughs> you should go look in there. Okay. Up there. So it looks like everybody that's ever been in a show here oh, signs the wall. This is, oh, but there was a letter about this. Yeah. One of, one of, the, one of the notes was about this. Uh -huh. So like, I think that's it up there. Oh my gosh, yeah. So this is where everyone who's ever done a show here signs the wall, the ceiling. Oh my gosh. Okay, I did something good for you. Oh my gosh. Thoroughly modern melee. It's so weird to see that as graffiti. This might be creepy if it wasn't so endearing. Mm. 2006, baby, yeah! That could have been me. Almost no part of this that is untouched. Look at this, Haley Wise, very cool effect. Wow. Wow. If you just stand by the fountain, you can almost feel its history around you. Also, Cora may not have a huge selection, but I love their bacon chicken ranch flatbread. P.S. If you get the chance and are craving some coffee, stop at Cora on the square. Also, Eric's has the best ice cream and Cora's coffee is really good. We've got to go to Cora's. Apparently we gotta go to Cora's. We have to go to Cora's. P.S. We also have really good coffee at Cora. <laughs> okay. Oh, it was like the one thing. It was so poignant and meaningful oh, and also a good Cora. Like, and also, by the way, I don't know if you drink coffee or not. There are 100% parts of town between wealth ranges, etc., but everyone feels very fluid. Everyone knows everything. I would encourage a walk from Roseland Park to the square to Moore Park. That route is really special to me and I think you'll get a good grasp of that fluidity. It's a good probable hour walk, but I promise it'll encourage your understanding. Thanks. Okay, we are here at Roseland Park, as per the suggestion of one of the students that wrote. So we're going to be taking a walk from Roseland Park up north to the square, and then over to Moore Park and back. So hopefully we will get to see some things and see what this student sees in this walk. Spoopiest house in Bryan. Some serious commitment to decorations, my friends. So we 
did the walk from Roseland Park to Moore Park. We saw the amphitheater that's almost done. We saw, we went to Party Pack. Got some ice cream and an icy with a pretzel in it, which no one mentioned that. So thank you for that surprise. Um, and, oh, what else? Oh, we went, to, we went to the Seasons. Now we are back at Roseland Park to our car. Good afternoon. Thank you, Ari and Parker and Katie and everybody. But those are some suggestions that we heard, so we did those things. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much to the Bryan High School Theater Department for giving me these. I will be keeping them. So thank you so much for all of this. And donuts. And donuts. I have a feeling this is not the last time I'll be in Bryan. Yeah? I, I kind of want to like pursue this to the largest scale that I can and just see what happens. Couldn't hurt, right? Sure. Katie Butler, I have a phone meeting with Mayor Schlade at 2 o'clock. Okay, let me connect you. Just one moment. Thank you. You're welcome. No, Lenny, no. Uh uh. Mm -mm. Hi, Katie, how are you? I'm fabulous. How are you? I'm doing really well. Good. I'm glad to hear it. My dog is uh, crying because I'm talking. So, I do apologize. 